guys, here we are on video um, three of lesson two, and we have a little puzzle for you. This is Santa, and she says that 450 divided by 50 is equivalent or equal to 450 divided by 10 divided by 10 divided by 10 divided by 10. What do you think? Is she correct? She's dividing by 50, right? So maybe you could think about 450 divided by 50, broken into groups of 50. Is that the same as dividing by 10 over and over? Or you could think about dividing by 10, one, two, three, four, five times. What is that equal to? Hmm, things to think about, right? I think, oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so if you're thinking, nope, that's not right, you are correct. Because dividing by 10 five times is the same as dividing by 100,000, right? 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. So, it's like moving on your place value chart to the, I don't I think it's going to be backwards for you, but to the right ten, uh, five times, right? Because you would be dividing by 100,000, okay? And this would be the same as dividing by 5 times 10, right? You'd only want to move one time. Okay, does that make sense? 450 divided by 5 is 9, so that would be 90, and 90 divided by 10 would be 9, right? Way, way, way different than dividing 450 by 100,000, okay? Now let's just review, think about um, divide, multiplying by 10, 100, or 1,000. How is it different than dividing by 10, 100, or 1,000? Multiplying, you're moving on your place value chart to the left, getting larger. Dividing, you're moving on your place value chart to the right, to the right, getting smaller, right? Okay. And how is multiplying or dividing by 100 or 1,000 similar to multiplying or dividing by 10. Yeah, you're just going to do it one or two more times, right? If you're multiplying by 10, you're going to go to the left 10 times, one time, if 100 is two times, 1,000 is three times, right? And if you're dividing by 10, you're going to go to the right one time, 100 is two times, and 1,000 is three times, okay? All right, let's look at your um, must-do which is going to be starting on page 19. It's going to have the gear on it. That's how you know that's your must do. Oops, sorry. The gear on it, right? And let's just look at number one, because sometimes the problems they put in the book are a little bit different than the problems that we do. They're, that's not what I wanted. They are similar, but they are a little bit different. It's because Eureka Math is trying to get you to think about things that you just learned in a little bit of a different way, but it can be confusing. So let's check it out. Do I have a color here? There we go. Okay, eight in 5,000, I'm sorry, 58,701 represents blank times as much as the eight in 5,870. So all they're asking you is to compare the 800,000 to the 8,000, okay, right? And this one is 10 times as much, right? So if you look at 8,000 on your place value chart, the next place over would be 80,000, right? So it's 10 times larger, okay? Write a multiplication equation to relate the 7 
in 58,701 to the 7 in 587,019. Okay, so once again, they're asking us to compare 700 and 7,000. But now we have to write a multiplication equation. That's like a multiplication problem, right? Okay, so 700, oh, I can put it right here. 700 times 10 is gonna equal 7,000, right? 700 times 10 is equal to 7,000. Okay, you can double check it on your multiplication chart. Make sure you're writing these down on page 19 because this is your must do. I'm just helping you along. So you do have to write it down. If you didn't write it down yet, pause me, write it down. Write a division equation, right? That's just a division problem to show the relationship between the value of the 5 in 587,019 and the 5 in 5,870. Okay, so we're writing a division problem now. 500,000, right? And I'm going to do divided by something to equal 5,000. And remember, I'm just working on the digits that they tell me. Oops, sorry, the five. I'm just working on the five here. Here I'm just working on the seven. Here I'm just working on the eight. Okay, so 500,000 to 5,000. Okay, if you're not sure, you're looking at that place value chart that you have in your um, dry erase and you're going to the hundred thousands and then you're saying how many jumps to 5,000 to the thousands. So one, two, right? I think it's pretty hard for you to see it on here, but one, two from, that would be 100 because I'm jumping twice, okay? So that's how I'm gonna get you started on your must-dos. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you so much for your attention. Talk to you later.